Okay, we're back live here in Silicon Valley in San Jose, California for Hadoop Summit 2012. This is theCUBE, siliconangle.com and siliconangle.tv in conjunction with wikibon.org is bringing theCUBE, our flagship telecast. We go out to the events, extract a signal from the noise and share that with you. Uh, Jeff Kelly's my co-host. Jeff, uh, welcome back to our analysis segment. Let's do an analysis of, uh, of, this, of the show here. Obviously, they're just breaking down from lunch behind us and uh, you can see the fact that uh, this show is really about developers, it's really about the future, mm -hmm. there's a really buzz about the, the money-making opportunity, uh, but there's also, when you put all that aside, there's still an industry that's being created. Absolutely. So, I'd like to ask you, uh, see you Val. Val was just on from NetApp, <laughs> he's walking behind his live studio set. Nothing hasn't happened on theCUBE. No. So, I want to get your take, I have my opinion, but I want to hear from you first around sure. Um, the marketplace. So yeah, we'll talk about the solutions and the opportunities in a second, but the players in the industry, because what's happened is, is that this industry's now expanded. Let's review some of the players. You got MapR, you got EMC, you got Hadoop, you got all these guys, I mean, uh, Cloudera and Hortonworks. Right. Well, yeah, I mean, you've just got, you've got, you've got, you've got the, the, the Hadoop pure plays, as we call them, kind of the distribution vendors. You've got Cloudera, uh, who's been around for since, probably the longest since 2009. Uh, Hortonworks uh, just releasing their first uh, GA of their, of their uh, platform uh, today, uh, but you've got MapR as well, which we haven't talked about too much, and they have an interesting story to tell as well. I mean, they've taken a little bit of uh, flack for uh, kind of what's been called a more proprietary approach with uh, a direct access NFS, uh, kind of supplementing HDFS, uh, but the interesting thing about their distribution is that they are focusing on really high efficiency. They're kind of uh, building off uh, Apache, but they're kind of filling in some of the holes a little bit faster uh, because they're doing it in a more proprietary way. So there's a trade-off there. If you're a customer, uh, you have to think about that. Um, so what do you think about the strategy for Hortonworks vis-a-vis -vis Cloudera, vis-a-vis -vis other vendors? Because obviously the big mm -hmm. guys are going to try to get a position. Pat Gelsinger was quoted as saying that there's no Red Hat model, that that's a, that's a failed strategy. Right. Um, obviously Hortonworks thinks and thinks so. I think it's, I, look, it, it makes a lot of sense if you look at it from the perspective of basically let's, let's prime the market. Let's, let's really build up a robust, open source, easily accessible uh, standard distribution, get it, in, get it into as many uh, potential customers as possible. When they start working with it, they're going to need support as they go into production, and we, we, Hortonworks, will be there to provide support. So, you know, I think it's, you know, it's an interesting model. Uh, I think it, it, it can work, but it's going to take a little bit of time. It's, a, it's more of a long game, I think. Okay, so we got our next guest here, will be coming on, is uh, going to be David Mariani, who's the VP of Engineering at Cloud. We're going to talk about Cloud. Cloud obviously is in the big data company. We know a little bit about Cloud because we have our own big data project that we use with social data and Twitter data, so we kind of understand their business. Uh, obviously Hadoop is a perfect uh, application for them. Most, most doubtedly they didn't have Hadoop when they started. They must be under a schema-based database, so we'll talk about that. Um, but to summarize our wrap-up session here on this quick analysis is that this show is about developers. Unlike Strata and Hadoop World, this is all about the technical conversations. Mm -hmm. um, it's Alpha Geek, it's uh, developers meets opportunity. So this, it's the context of tech developers in context to use cases and paths to the market. So it's not a pure geek show in the sense of speeds and feeds all the time. Mm -hmm. it's, that, it's, it's a geek show, speeds and feeds in context to mm -hmm. the use cases. And that really is ultimately, to me, the best conferences because most technical people don't want the BS marketing stuff with the suits, but at the same time they want good meat mm -hmm. on the bone for technical conversations right. and then a clear go-to-market path. Mm -hmm. That's not BS. So, and that's what we got here. We got a really good show around great use cases from education with data scientists to analytics and applications to the future of Hadoop to Hadoop 101, how to start coding. Mm -hmm. So, great event, a um, little bit different than Hadoop World, which is much more business oriented. Mm -hmm. and, and, and Certainly strata. strata, yep, absolutely. So, okay, well, so we will be right back with our next guest, theCUBE, siliconangle.tv, extensive coverage, uh, continuous coverage of Hadoop World 2012. We'll be right back with uh, Cloud, right after this. <laughs>